Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. Uh, we were going to go to Paris for uh, the big gathering, but uh, it, you know the president thought it wasn't a big deal, and, uh, and the attorney general was in Paris and didn't think it was a big deal. So we're like, ah, it'll probably just be a little small gathering. And the plane tickets were yeah, pretty expensive. Yeah, and very expensive. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, So there's, but, there's that. Yeah. But they're in spirit. But freedom of speech. Man. Freedom of speech, everybody. I'm your host, Steve Skelton. I'm here with Todd Robert Anderson. Our third film pick, Stephen Falk, is a huge Hollywood heavyweight. He can't be with us this episode because he is out determining the fate of entertainment. Mm, he is. In his place, we have a very special guest, Andrew Bowen. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, you are the star of a new movie coming out called Bloodshot. That's right. That's Tell right. us about Bloodshot. Bloodshot is a, a really funny, dark uh, uh, comedic sort of uh, modern day true romance. Ooh. Oh. That's got some really great characters and one seriously fucked up night. Nice. That sounds great. That sounds like a lot of fun. Is that out this year? Or? Uh, yeah, they're just uh, they're starting the, the festival run on it and all that oh, okay. stuff. Oh, okay, okay, so, great. So uh, it all takes place in one night. Yes. Like an after hours. Situation. Yes. Oh, it's, fantastic. it's got a little bit of that yeah, after hours night shit. Fantastic. Thing going into it. So, so look out for Blood Shy. Blood Shy. Blood Shy. All right. Blood Shy. I'd like to start things off with toasting a little popcorn. popcorn. Oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Cool. Extra butter on mine. Let me pick out a piece. Mm. Yeah, let's jump right in to rash judgments. Now, this is a segment where we take a look at movies that are coming out soon and tell you whether you should or should not go see them, based solely on our own opinions, which. Maybe we've seen the trailer, maybe we haven't. We might have looked at something on the internet. We might have just, I don't know, been sick on our couch. Um, and now we have an opinion about a movie. Todd Robert Anderson, Rash Judgment. It's January. January, of course, is the month where the studios put all the movies out that they have the most invested in. Uh, Johnny Depp is a man coming off a string of incredible box office smashes. Oh, just the biggest. Every single movie, it, he's got the King Midas touch. It all becomes gold. It's every one of his movies is like an Avengers. So when, obviously when he came to the studios and he said, hey guys, I want to do sort of a Pink Panther-y, I don't know, <laughs> Austin Powers-y sort of thing. That's exactly how it the was The studio pitched. said, Johnny Depp, anything you want. So Johnny Depp has an English accent and he's an art dealer or something and he gets involved in some kind of con artist hijinks uh, with Gwyneth Paltrow and Ewan McGregor. And, Ewan uh, McGregor. Paul Bettany. You always gonna say Ewan McGregor. Like, Ewan McGregor. Yeah. It's Johnny Depp and a bunch of actually English people <laughs> doing a comedy show I'm gonna be perfectly honest. When I first saw the trailer, and I've seen the trailer entirely too many times, because this is a PG rated movie, um, and I go to a lot of PG rated films because I have a kid, and they always play Mordecai before it, and my son thinks Mordecai is hilarious. Um, the trailer. And the trailer, the first time I saw it, I, I kind of laughed when he sniddly says, uh, in reference to Paul Bettany, that he has a manservant to some guy at a hotel. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and that was my reaction. And I was like, well, if my kid thinks it's funny. But then the other day, because we've seen the trailer a lot of times, and when you see the same trailer over and over again, it wears on you a little bit. And it turns out it wore on my nine-year-old, because I said, hey, do you want to see Mordecai when it comes out in a couple weeks? And he goes, nah. <laughs> So I'm probably not gonna have to see Mordecai. So there it is, but you know, if you love Johnny Depp and the month of January, <laughs> Mordecai is your movie! All right, thank you, Todd. Now, even though Stephen Falk isn't with us because he's a super powerful Hollywood uh, major player. Yeah, he's gonna win it around because there's awards. He's giving so out many awards. award ceremonies and he has to be there. He's trying he to catch awards. He's winners and losers, he's but winners. he's always a winner. Losers. He's and got a net. It's like yeah, an award net. net. And, he, and he's taken the time to give us a rash judgment, and he's recorded it for us, and let's take a look. Hey there, uh, this is a rash judgment for Cake, starring Jennifer Aniston, and Sam Worthington, and Anna Kendrick, and Felicity Huffman. And it's a little indie about uh, Jennifer Aniston. She's a chronic pain sufferer, and she starts stalking her dead friend's husband, I guess, and uh, takes a lot of pills, and you know, it's her brave role, 
where she's not wearing a lot of makeup and uh, her hair's not washed. Uh, I was beginning to think this wasn't a real movie that was ever coming out, but I guess it is. And, um, you know, uh, I don't know. It's not really for me, but maybe you'll like it. So, cake. I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, as a chronic pain sufferer. Which you are. And someone who, I enjoy cake from time to time. I love cake. Seemed like a good idea for a movie, but if yeah. Fox on the fence about it, then I, I, know. May, you know, so, I may choose to know. Sometimes you like cake and sometimes you don't. That's true. That's yeah. simply how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. Andrew, do you have a rash judgment oh, for it? Oh, please give us a rash I do. Judgment. I have a rash judgment for it. For the boy. Next door. What Ooh, is that? Is that wow. a sequel to the girl next door? Let me door? just tell you, every once in a while, a C level film <laughs> gets cut down to a D level film. <laughs> and some executive out there goes, Wow, this is a moneymaker. And we get movies like The Boy Next Door, uh, starring uh, the incredibly talented uh, ass. It's an ass. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, Golden Globes. She's yeah, got oh, two. Yeah, yeah got but two, now, two now Golden the Jennifer, is. Jennifer, Jennifer. We've moved up to her breasts. Jennifer. But that's her wardrobe's fault. Yes. Yeah. It's, there's a malfunction. Jennifer Lopez, uh, who was, uh, you know, definitely diving into that midlife crisis of not <laughs> accepting the fact that she's 45. Um, and after a decent amount of work, is still trying to live out those days that she's really 22. So, what better way than to have sex with an, a boy? <laughs> next door. Who's, next door. As well as convenient. Who is psychotic. Oh, darn oh, it. Oh, it's, it, and, uh, it's it never, it never works out. It's, it's hot and heavy and, you know, I'm sure there was hours spent in the beautiful editing bay making sure that none of those wrinkles showed. Mm. And, um... The Benjamin Button. How wrinkly, Benjamin Button. How wrinkly is this boy next door? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, so, uh, lots of, lots of sexy shots and then, oh, and she's got a son and she's getting into school and <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a winner. I, uh, <laughs> this is the one where I, I checked on my list and I went, Phew. When you talk about January, Boom. This is your like January. Like Mordecai was up top, and then I went, girl next door. I flipped yeah. that baby up. All the way up. A little bit. Push up. Yeah. And uh, I think that, uh, yeah, it's going to be. A, a double hmm. feature with Taken 3, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Afternoon yeah. matinee. Yeah. But hey, hopefully we'll Tri get a sequel. Triple feature if you got but, Mordecai. Hey, and maybe we'll get the sequel, The Other Boy Next Door. <laughs> There's, all, there's dreams. It's the boy two doors down. We can dream. There, there's no relation to this and the girl next door, right? I don't think so. I don't know. No. I don't know. So, uh, there you go. Mm. All right. Whoop. Well, thank you uh, for all those rash judgments, you guys. Super powerful Stephen Volk uh, out there doing Hollywood's business. and Because uh, orange is the new black. Yeah. That's why. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now... I what, missed you. I was really hoping to hang. Yeah. Next time, bond. you'll come back. You'll come back. Right. What people... Now, we have a real special thing for you guys. Andrew, not only is he a super handsome actor, <laughs> who's starring in major motion pictures that are making the rounds to festivals right now. I, you know what? He's you also... Have no, after, 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 He's also... He's also... Well, hey, he's... He's okay. rolling yeah. in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> he's also a master impressionist. He is. And, and he's also a teacher. So we've taken advantage of this. Well, he's, I mean, he's yeah. a, a selfless individual. Yeah. He has talents. He doesn't keep them to himself. No, he wants he to wants spread to the spread knowledge. It. He wants everyone to be elevated to their highest possible level. It's all love. And it's, it's, all love. it's all love. It's so all we love. have a very special class tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, because we went to the class. And we went to learned class. so much. And I don't know, Todd, I mean, what do you think we should do now? I mean, should we just... Oh, I know. Oh, what? Hang what? on. There's this thing down here. No, get it. Get that I'll thing. Get, get, the no, thing. get the thing. Is it's, it, right, it's right down here. Just get it. Yeah, just get it's, it. Give me just you, a second. Do you have it? Do you need it's, any help? Uh, it's a little heavy. I got, got it, it. Okay. I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, lift, oh, my lift from your lift, legs. My lift from your legs. I'll use my knees. Don't use... Roller! Welcome, all right, to the intro. To impersonations. Yeah? All right, come on. Let's get a little uh, warm up first, okay? I like doing this to just kind of get your uh, get your self loosened up. First off, though, we're going to do uh, some just level ones of some people, okay? We're going to start off a little Brad Pitt level one, all right? So this, I want you to take your hand. We're pointing. Now, Brad does, Pitt doesn't just point. He points like this. He sticks it, right? Elbow up. Your shoulders are back. 
All right, a little bit of a lisp, and we're gonna go, yes. 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 Good, good. One more time. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. You guys are gonna be level two in no time. That was great. All right, a little Keanu. All right, let's have you guys stand up. Now, Keanu always comes from the body. Our neck's gonna stay very, very stiff. All right, because we've had a motorcycle accident, which is one of the things that's made us so serious in life. All right, so when we turn, we don't just look. We turn the whole body. What's happening to the right of me? Whoa. What's happening to the left? Whoa. Can you do that, Mimi? Give me a little whoa. 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 All right, cool. Now we're gonna do a little uh, 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 Nicholas Cage. Does that sound fun to you guys? We're doing a little Nick. So that's easy, all right? We're just gonna, we're gonna start with our heads again, okay? We're gonna just, uh, we're, we're smelling something. We're a little crazy and we're smelling something. Is that, is that poop? Do I smell <laughs> poop? Poop! Poop! Good guys, good. Sit down, sit down, okay? Now, before you came, uh, I asked you guys to uh, bring me a little of impersonation of your own. Uh, so we can just see where you're starting from, and so we're gonna have a little fun here. So why don't uh, I want the big man here? Why don't you come up first? All right, get up on the stage. All right, man. All right. Hi. How are you? Good Great. to see you. Thank you. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do here is, uh, you know, I'll do an impression too. Improv a little bit. Okay. Later yeah, and yeah. Just see what happens. Sure. With sure. Okay? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, I'm Chris Helmsworth, better known as Thor. Although uh, soon most people will recognize me as the most beautiful computer hacker that's ever lived. And who are you? <clears throat> oh, you wimpy man. I will crush you with my massive muzzles. Get to the Java! Yeah, I may own a tank, but I sure tanked California's economy. <laughs> that's great. That's really good. Keep going. Keep going. Your clothes. Give them to me now. You know what's a great one too? Here, you add this into it from Total Recall. Oh. The great place to start is when he's pulling that, that thing out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, it's a, you just really jam it up in there too. Yeah. So actually, <laughs> 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 Great, man, great. All right, I think, uh, let me see, who's, who's up? Oh, it's Matt McConaughey here. All right, all right, all right. I think, uh, I think Red, I think you're up. But you're gonna do it anyways. Because I sell go, cars go, go, now. Go, 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 Now again, I don't want you to be uh, intimidated by being with an Oscar winner. Wow, man. I'm so glad you're doing this. This is great. This oh. is the best class. Oh, thanks, man. I, I'm, I'm happy I'm doing it. You know, I'm a little worried there for a second. It might be, you know, weirdos or people oh, doing yeah. offensive I stuff, but it's not, not it's the case. Awesome. And you guys have got skills. So. <laughs> All right, back in. Where was I? <clears throat> oh, yeah. One of those machines is an MRI. What's your name? There's a level that you just don't cross. <laughs> you, you don't cross. I'm ah. gonna, I'm gonna take out this is not cool. I'm, I'm gone. Do my jello. Here it comes, and jello's coming out of the pants. Yeah, hey, Bill. Your date wouldn't happen to be a housekeeper, would she? Well, Mr. Governor, yes, Sam, I think she is. Oh, that's fantastic. May I join you? Yes, you may. The more the merrier with the drink. Yes, it absolutely did make me smile. You took the words right out of my mouth. Wow. That was amazing. That was, Just, not, that was not offensive at all. No, mm -hmm. and, but, uh, but it, was a, it was not offensive and also very educational. It was, it was. I would like to say this. After the scandal, yes. I was very concerned that my Bill Cosby wouldn't play anymore, Impersonation wouldn't work. Wouldn't yeah. have a place. Yeah. Mm. And I'm glad that we've dug deep enough yeah. to find a place for a creepy old man like me to yeah. play a creepy old man like him. No, I think And it's, I feel like that's what's great about Hollywood. Frankly. It's like a diamond. It's like frankly, a diamond. Frankly, it's moment. a triumph. 
It's a triumph. It's an absolute it's triumph. It's a fucking triumph. Yeah. So, on that note, I would like to thank I Todd think you should Robert just say Anderson. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'd like to thank Todd Robert Anderson. You're welcome. I'd like to thank our absent pig, Stephen Fault, who is a big super Hollywood superstar, super powerful Orange man. Orange is new black. You're uh, the worst. <laughs> you're the worst. And, uh, That'll and, be winning awards next year. And a very, very I'm special Mulder thanks <laughs> to, to our guest, Andrew Bowen. <laughs> Um, who you will see was it blood blood sky, blood blood, 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 sky. blood you just, sky. You just ruined the blood sky. You just ruined it. No blood, blood shy. Blood shy. Blood sky is a pretty good title blood too. Blood pretty though. good too. That'll be, That'll right. be the sequel. But the whole thing is blood sequel. shy. Is it blood you know, shy? Blood, shy. Yeah, be okay. blood shy two. Blood sky. Yeah. Blood shy two. Blood sky. Blood sky. <laughs> So look or for Blood that. Eye. Look for him uh, in that next year. In the third but look one for him this year in Blood Shy. The this third one is going to be Blood Sky next year. The third one's going to be Blood Shy three, Blood Sky, Blood Pie. The Reckoning. The, the Reckoning. Reckoning. And uh, on that note, uh, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations and also Todd wanting to retire the catchphrase. <laughs>